So I've had about a dozen people ask me now to make either like a Patreon or PayPal and I've also actually had people just send me money through my email already so I figured I'm going to talk to you guys about what my missions are, my aspiration is, a little bit about me, my personal life and also my financial situation and my current like job, uh, I guess professional career. So I have thought about the ways I can make money through YouTube whether it's making some sort of online program I could sell, which I don't have the, the, the tech know-how and the programming skills to do, uh, although I'm currently kind of looking at, at it right now. Um, I was thinking about writing a book, but uh, to do a book without a publisher wanting to do it with you, your profits are very minimal unless you want to do all the shipping and, and that kind of stuff yourself. So that's, for me, the book is, I, and I haven't even started that yet. I, I was thinking about doing like a vampire book because like the vampire diet because I look like a vampire like I'm gonna I'm young and I'm gonna live forever uh, I also thought about selling my I make hygiene products I make lip balm I make I'm not wearing anything guys right now nothing I make lip balm I make deodorant I make uh, toothpaste I have a couple products I've made but I haven't really figured out how to get a production line or how to do that maybe I'm, I'm gonna try to look for some like Chinese companies and try to figure that out maybe I tell them what to make and I resell it myself I don't I have no idea how to go about doing that. And I just, I have started doing consulting, but I honestly, I've only had like a handful of clients here and there uh, contact me and do, uh, I usually do 8, 12, and uh, 14, uh, 16 week fitness consult with diet analysis, um, with various pricing. I also have done just like hour consult sessions, blah, blah, like just charging people. They, they can ask me questions, have me evaluate their diet, answer their questions uh, with my unusual amount of dietary knowledge related to animal foods. Uh, so I've have done I've been I haven't really got, had any monetary success so far from my, my channel. Basically all the work I've done has been for free so far. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out how and I my monetization through YouTube has not been approved and I don't know what's going on with YouTube. It could be months to I don't know if I'm ever going to get approved uh, with through monetization through YouTube. So that's up in the air. Uh, in regards to my mission and what my aspirations are, I every, every time I look at someone, whether it's, you know, maybe my dad looks sad and upset and he's overweight, or maybe I see someone on the street like that. Um, you know, when I look at my mentally disabled sister and see that, you know, she could have been a normal person. When I look at, uh, hear about a, a, a woman having a miscarriage or, or someone's baby having a heart procedure at two weeks old, all of these things I attribute to modern life and modern problems and I hope one day that I'm on a large enough platform to make a huge difference in regards to human nutrition and health and really as, as silly and as simple as it sounds is if people eat and live the right way everyone will be happy and attractive that's as simple as that I think uh, it's, it sounds crazy but that's really what my life goal is and uh, the way I'm trying to do that now is partially through this YouTube channel but in regards to my professional career trying to get from point A to point B hasn't gone so well so uh, I guess I'll talk about my personal life first uh, so I'm actually a triplet I was born in the early 90s I have a brother who does physics stuff out in California very successful got his masters in physics uh, my sister is unfortunately on the other end of the spectrum she stays with my parents in uh, in an area in the New York City tri-state area uh, and I stay with my grandma in one of the boroughs and uh, I, go, I go travel up with them and I do a lot of the filming at their house from time to time so uh, that's my current I, I could really I could go into my upbringing and like how my mother had a double kidney transplant and all these health problems related to the the c-section being botched she had to and she had a stroke recently and you know my family's never been in good health and they've always had health problems uh, fortunately I've been in upper middle class, although I can't say I had a lot of guidance or support when I was growing up. I at least wasn't in a super bad scenario. Um, uh, I guess outside of, um, what else What else can I talk about personally? Um, I mean, you know, the health of my family and my sister being mentally disabled has has been one reason for this nutritional journey, but that's not really, it's really just about the big picture and helping the health of people in general. Um, in, in regards to my professional life, this ties in with progressing my personal life. So when I was out of high school, I was in and out of community college, not doing so well, um, worked a bunch of really terrible minimum wage jobs, 
eventually broke into catering, which was still terrible, but that got me into New York City hospitality, and I've never really held a job for a long period of time. I've never had any good connections. I've never really made any good money working in bar as a bartender or waiter in restaurants in New York. I've had jobs that were good, that I passed up for other jobs that were lied to me about, so my career has been shaky at best, and I've I've never made more than like twenty or thirty thousand dollars a year, uh, and that's saying being generous. And I'm 25 now. I've have been very good at saving money, but I've never made a living wage really. Uh, this year might actually be the first year I make over poverty line, to be honest, with how much money I've spent on failed business prospects. Um, but uh, so I've never been too successful monetarily. Um, and right now, recently, uh, you know, I, I had a really good job working for, um, more recently, Salt Bay, opened a steakhouse in Midtown, and I was making the most money I ever did in hospitality. I was making like $1,500, $2,000 a week. I, I've never even made half that before. So I quit that job to go on MasterChef because I thought if I was on MasterChef, I would possibly have a life opportunity that meant I would never have to do this again. And unfortunately, uh, you know, that, that was probably one of the literally worst things to ever happen to me in regards to like taking away a job that might have actually given me some financial freedom and uh, not giving me anything in return and I've literally never found a job since I got back from I can't say that I've worked a few very terrible jobs since I've gotten back I tried to get a job out in the Hamptons but guys uh, I talked to you earlier about having pride and not asking for handouts but I have no connections every job I've gotten in hospitality is me cold calling and going in like a stranger and you guys know how that works and uh, me being an actor and doing some of that on the side, all I've really done is student films, and it's all connections too, so uh, I'm, I'm trying to move away from that and, and make something for myself. I'm getting back into personal training. I'm slowly starting to give up on the bartending thing because, listen, same thing with acting and bartending. I'm good at both. You can put me on a professional film set or a cocktail bar, and I can perform just as good as the average person. I'm not exceptional, I'm not a prodigy, I'm not gifted, but I can do the job. I just have not been given an equal opportunity as other people have. I'm actually scheduled my breast augmentation for a dude. I made a joke like that to one guy and he teed off on me. He was pissed. I made a joke about getting a boob job because they female bartenders have it easier. But uh, all, all that aside, uh, I've been looking to get back into personal training. I have a couple interviews this week. Uh, maybe it'll work out, maybe it won't. Worst case, and I've been going on bartending interviews. I had a couple this week, and hopefully, some places should be hiring over the fall. But honestly, uh, you know, it's a very stressful and difficult job. This personal training job I'm looking into is like 10 minutes from my house. The normally I have to drive in and out of the city an hour and a half each way, and that's what I've been doing for like four years. So as it's part of me and my personality and my seriousness is like having to take care of my mentally disabled sister to some degree and being in my car for three hours a day, those two things, not a fun personality. I try to be fun and happy and I really like joking around and stuff and you guys haven't seen a lot of that with my YouTube channel but uh, that's how I am, that's how I want to be but as a result of some of my life factors it hasn't really happened so I kind of, I've kind of spread myself too thin. I'm doing these YouTube videos, I'm half-assed bartending, not so successful. My heart's not really in acting, but I figured I could get cast because of my look. So I'm kind of trying to do it, but I don't have any connections. I got, uh, I have no real idea how to monetize my YouTube channel properly. Uh, I'm just kind of at this position where I'm just hoping to either audition and get on a show that gets me super popular, or maybe work this personal training job, save up some money, try to look into the production for my products, or just maybe just grow my YouTube and Instagram to the point where I can build up enough of a base and a fan base to to become successful myself. So I just want to give you guys all this information, all this background before any more you guys start sending me money um, on the Patreon. Uh, and guys, I, I'm going to do the PayPal and Patreon because I know people want it both. But the PayPal thing and Patreon, whatever rewards I have listed on Patreon, you will get the same thing in PayPal. And I know I put like answer one question if you give me a dollar answer you know, whatever I put, answer five questions if you give me $10 a month uh, in, in email. And, and then like if you give me $25, I'll do a half hour consultation for you every month. Or like if you give me $50, I'll do a one hour consultation every month with you where you can ask me questions and 
hopefully this, and if this does get to the point where I can't actually handle it, that's a good thing and that means I don't have to work anymore and I can do this full time and sort that out. But uh, by all means, guys, please, you know, I do not need money. I could, I will be fine. Like if you guys want to support me and give me money and make my life easier and maybe, you know, uh, contribute to my future mission and my happiness, that's what you're doing if you give me money. Uh, I will tell you right now, I have not spent money on anything besides food, clothing, and transportation in my life. I've literally, the only times I have ever gone, I, I went out to eat once for my birthday last year, and the other money I've spent has only been on necessities. Uh, and I, uh, since I'm with my grandma, the rent I pay is minimal, so that's not, I mean, yeah, the rent expense is there, but I do not spend money on anything that I do not see contributing to my future in my goals. I mean, I don't really know what other people spend their money on, but my, like, no one said, I mean, you know, I don't, all my clothes I bought at thrift stores and on, I bought all my used clothes, all my clothes, all my clothes are actually used. The only stuff I buy new are like t-shirts and shorts from like H&M and cheap stuff. Uh, all my shoes, my expensive ass shoes, they were bought used from thrift stores. Um, everything, you know, I really don't spend money and that's because uh, part of it was my, my parents never gave me any money or really bought me anything when I was growing up and, uh, and then I understand and how hard I've worked in all of my jobs and how difficult I know it is to earn money even when I go to spend five, ten, fifteen dollars. I know how hard it is for some people to earn that much money so I really do value money and I, I understand what it means when someone even sends me a dollar of their money because uh, just all my life experiences and everything has, has kind of related to that so uh, I don't really want to go too much into anything else I think I've touched on all the, the aspects of my life um, and my aspirations and what I do personally and if there's any other specific things you guys would like me to answer like how I used to play World of Warcraft for 10 hours a day and League of Legends for Dude, I was good at League of Legends. Like, I was actually a diamond player, uh, and I played before they even had that rating system. I used to raid Ice Crown Citadel and World of Warcraft. I used to, uh, I bodybuilded from when I was 14 to like 21. I used to be in the gym for two hours a day. I have a lot of stories that aren't that are, aren't really that interesting, but they might be interesting to some of you guys. How I went from doing that to to this, um, so kind of turning my life, flipping my life, kind of around. Uh, going from being a loser that pretty much played video games all day to someone who, who wants to improve their life. So maybe we could tie that in somewhere along the lines. And uh, uh, I mean, a big part of that was my jaw surgery a couple of two years ago and me being on Accutane a couple of years ago. So uh, I, don't, I don't even want to look and see how long this video is already. But uh, I think that was really as short and concise as I could have answered this and uh, given you guys any reason to support me. So. I will put the PayPal link in the description. If you send me a note, just tell me what you want. Do you want me to answer your questions? Do you want me to smile more in my videos? You know, just tell me. Do you want a half hour? Like, do you want me to talk to me for a half an hour on Skype? Do you want me to send you shirtless pictures on Snapchat? All right, I don't, I don't use Snapchat, and it might be a little more money for that. It's kind of, no, I'm, I'm joking. I do not. That is actually, you know, oddly enough, that is my backup plan in like two or three years if nothing works out. Maybe we'll go down that route, but, um, uh, what else? Yeah, like on Patreon, there's some stuff listed. And guys, please don't hold me accountable to that stuff I put on Patreon. If I get 100 people that start sending me 10 question emails, it might take me, I will try to get back to everyone, but it might take me a little while. And I don't really know how to differentiate the, I wouldn't know how to differentiate the Patreon emails from the actual people. So I, don't, I haven't really thought this out too well, but hopefully it goes well. So uh, I'm going to put those in the description. Uh, I For me, the PayPal, I don't really know what's easier or what's better. If there's and if there's any other better ways for you guys to support me, like outside of Patreon and PayPal, please let me know. Also, I would love to do some sort of like, like I know Sean Baker started the HPO podcast and they, they've got a lot of support. Um, I, I feel like I could do something like that and I, I could have very, very long. I was on uh, Primal Edge Health with Tristan, although I feel like I kind of stole the show and didn't let him speak. But, um, you know, who knows? I'm sure there are a lot of, a lot of opportunities for myself are going to open up over the next... Um, you know, a few weeks, a few months, and I'm a little I'm more optimistic than I've been because, you know, on and off the past few years of my life have really been just constant, really just constant failure. And like, as soon as it looked like I was going to be successful and things were going to work out, 
you know, everything, I just, everything just went to shit, you know, and that's happened to me about half a dozen times already. So uh, I don't want to go specifically into my job history or like how I, I couldn't get a gig out in the Hamptons this year and, and how many times I've tried to get gigs out there or, or various things. I don't want to go into specific details about that, but you guys can probably find my resume on LinkedIn and you guys can probably look on other, on other websites if you really looked hard enough. And hey, if you send me an email and ask me, I'd probably tell you. So uh, that's it guys. I'm, I'm not going to stop talking before this video goes to like half an hour.